This next segment, we take a look at a board game based on an IP, and I tell you the IP and the mechanisms match. Today we're looking at Les Miserables, Eve of Rebellion. On your turn, you can do one of three things. You can take a card, either face up or from the top of the deck. You can use a card, thus using the power listed on the card, or you can score a card, you can score everything listed on the card, and then you either kill it or save it, depending on which way it would be best for your strategy. What can be a little tricky about this game is you have the three face-up cards, and if there are some of these cards are gonna be better at scoring later in the game, like this guy, save three, save seven, and save twelve, to get all of those points, you're gonna need a lot of stuff out to get that. Versus some cards that are better off scoring early. Save Cassette and Save Algin. If they just happen to be in the save pile already, well, this is a great card to take because they're gonna automatically score almost. Or if you have them in your hand and you know you have control whether they're going to save pile or not. But if somebody sees you pick up cost, this card that allows you to save Cassette and save Valjean, if they have Valjean in their hand, they're going to kill Valjean. They're not going to put them in the save pile. This is a hard one to tell you if the IP and the mechanisms match because it does in some regards. Some of the characters are going to react in certain ways that make sense. They want to be with this person or be away from that person, etc. And that kind of ties in thematically to what you're used to with these characters. Then there's going to be times where you're just going to be killing people, saving people based on the points they're going to score for you. So it's not exactly going to be the same characters that die in the play at, at the book as it would be here on this game. So it's almost like an alternate universe in some time, in some ways. And it's bizarre. And it's kind of tough when you're taking like an IP like this and trying to make a board game without making it overly linear. And I think that's going to work for it. So yes, in some ways, the characters are here. They interact in the ways they're supposed to be as much as you can from just what's a simple card game with some coins. But in other ways, it's like you're creating an alternate universe for these guys and that part of it doesn't really fit in. So what do I think? I think fans of the book and, and, and the play and the movies, I think they're going to like that there's a game based on this. I think they're going to like this game, even though there's a little bit of, of a twist to the history of it and things may not play out exactly like it did in the source material. But I think they're going to enjoy the characters and the art and the way this looks and the way that it plays. It's not the best card game in the world. But I think it is the best one based on this source material, and that's all they may have to go on for this one. So, it is what it is.